Okay, this is problem number nine. The USS Theodore Cleaver fires a projectile at an angle of 25 degrees. Uh, the time of flight for the projectile is 48.4 seconds. What is the horizontal distance of the shot? So the approach on this is to find the vertical velocity uh, as it comes out of the uh, cannon. And then from there you would use the tangent function to find the horizontal velocity. Once you've found the horizontal velocity, you can then determine the horizontal distance. So uh, let's go that route right here. Here would again would be your picture. And here comes the shot as it comes out like this. Um, the angle is 25 degrees. The time of flight, total time, that's time up and time down, is 48.4 seconds. So we want to find out the vertical velocity. Well, the vertical, and we can divide this in half because of symmetry. So we're going to need five columns, five columns in two rows. So let's get that done. Sorry, my lines are not straight. It's just the way it is. Deal with it. Uh, the displacement, the vertical displacement, the time the initial vertical velocity, the final vertical velocity, and the acceleration. Uh, the time is not going to be 48.4. It's going to be half of that. That's going to be 24.2 seconds because it's only the time that it takes to go from the beginning to the very top. The initial vertical velocity is what we're looking for. At the top, the final vertical velocity is 0, and the acceleration is negative 9.8 meters per second squared. So... Uh, let me see if I can get this smaller. I guess I can get it to two. <coughs> so from there, we'll take a look at our equations. Of course, the uh, displacement is going to be non-participatory. And we can use the final velocity is equal to the initial velocity plus AT, the final velocity being 0. So that can go away. <coughs> Initial vertical velocity is equal to negative AT. And putting those values in, you get an initial vertical velocity of negative times negative 9.8 meters per second squared times our time of 24.2 seconds. And that gives us a vertical velocity of 200 37 meters per second. So that's how fast it's leaving and coming out of the cannon vertically going up. <coughs> so the tangent then, by using our functions, the tangent of theta is equal to the, the uh, opposite over the adjacent. So the opposite of our angle is going to be the vertical, and that's going to be the vertical velocity divided by the adjacent, which is the horizontal. Solving for the horizontal, Horizontal then is equal to the uh, vertical velocity divided by the tangent of theta. Calculate that. Horizontal velocity is 237 meters per second divided by the tangent of 25 degrees. The horizontal velocity is equal to a whopping 508 meters per second. And so now we can determine the horizontal displacement. Horizontal velocity is equal to horizontal displacement divided by time. Horizontal displacement is equal to the velocity divided by uh, multiplied times time. Horizontal displacement is 508 meters per second times the time of the total time in this case, because we're going from, from beginning to end, is 48.4 seconds. And then the horizontal displacement is equal to 2.46 times 10 to the 4 meters. So that's quite a far piece for it to travel, but it's on a ship. 